Good Company, presented by P&G, FNB of NWA, and produced in partnership with Celebrate Arkansas. 54-year-old Shelley McMillan has become one of Arkansas's leading advocates for children, particularly when it comes to victims of abuse. Her journey first began in 2010 when she heard of the important work being done at the Children's Advocacy Center. One place where you can come and tell your story and you are heard and you are listened to and you are believed. After hearing stories of abuse and neglect, Shelley's heart was moved to accept a seat on the center's board of directors. You can't go there and not want to do something to help these children. You just can't imagine that that goes on. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just want to do what I can for those kids. McMillan and the CAC board have made it their top priority to increase awareness and education of child abuse. We've got a child first program that we go out into the school systems and teach counselors. The more you can get the prevention out there, maybe that will stop some of this from continuing on. She does it for all the right reasons. And, uh, you know, the wind beneath the wings of an organization, uh, it's not about her, it is about the children. This month, the Children's Advocacy Center of Arkansas will present Shelley McMillan with the Woman of Inspiration Award. It's a statewide award that she is honored to receive. I'm receiving it on behalf of the CAC because they're the ones that are doing all of the hard work. Um, Beverly Engel, who started the organization in 2000, she's my inspiration. Natalie Tibbs, who now is our director of the center, she is the strongest advocate that they could possibly have. And so I'm very humbled to be able to go up there and accept an award on their behalf. Shelley, as well as leaders statewide, will gather on October 19th in Little Rock for the Children's Advocacy Center of Arkansas's 40th anniversary gala. She says the more awareness that can be raised gets us one step closer to breaking the cycle of abuse. Reporting news where you live, I'm Kelly Kemp, 5 News.